Okay, so we're looking at the barbell cycling piece that we have on Tuesday the 25th of October. What we have today is some set loads that you need to use for the elite and RX athletes and even the, for the intermediate athletes, the starting loads is the same. Although we use a lot of the time percentage based stuff, which is great for personal development, when you get to a competition, the barbell on the floor is going to be a set weight and you need to know for yourself the best way for you to move that load. Okay, so this today is practice work. You're not sprinting through this session for time. You're taking the rest that you need in between each set and be mindful of the technique that you're using at the different loads or even changing the technique on each load to practice different ways of doing it. And by that, I mean, for those initial sets of 15, some people who are extremely strong or extremely good barbell cyclers are gonna go no contact on the way up all the way down it's gonna look more like a kettlebell swing than it does an actual snatch because you're moving so fast and that's okay. You're gonna practice that style because you might need that style in a workout sometime. If this is a little bit heavier for you, you're gonna practice um, getting the contact on the way up, contact on the way down. Do I need to dip under the bar or can I just go straight into a muscle snatch? You need to figure those little things out. Even if you are really strong and using that first weight, it's one of the sets it's worth doing real power snatches where you hit the hip and you dip under the bar because when you're super fatigued in a workout, um, deep into a workout, that weight is gonna feel a lot heavier. So you need to have practiced how you move that weight. Okay, so really think about that on all your different sets here. Once you get to the third and fourth set, that's when the ranges start coming in because of course, because we're saying touch and go reps all the way through here, um, we can't just expect everyone to do the highest set ranges and the highest uh, rep ranges so that RX athletes stick to the lower side. If this weight is getting really grindy and max effort for you to do, then just reduce the rep scheme so that you can still focus on practice. Because once the weight gets too heavy, it's very hard to be mindful of how you're actually moving. You're just trying to survive the set basically. And you need to be thinking about the technique that you're applying to the set. If you're an elite athlete and you're a little bit stronger and you can move these heavier loads, then of course do the bigger rep ranges and the bigger sets because you should still be able to apply the technique and apply the, the variations of technique as you get to those heavier weights.